another review. I'm going to review my Select the Hut set that I literally just made. Um, I'll probably do Sail Barge after I rebuild it because it is completely destroyed from the videos. But, um, let's get on with this review. First off, I'll start off with Sarlacc the Hut. This is... Okay. Uh, anyway. Um, this is from episode 7. Um... Um... Yeah, it's... The tentacles are gone. I got it from my friend. Uh, subscribe to him. But... Um, uh, it's completely made out of rubber. As you can tell, the teeth are made out of rubber. I literally just, it's really easy to put Lego figures in there, and so I actually played with the idea all the time. Um, it's full of warts, stuff like that. I should probably someday, if I ever get some sort of rubber job the hut figure that sucks, I'll probably tear off the tail and put it around here. That'd be kind of cool. Next character, Vader Pig. Um, there's nothing much to really talk about it. It's from an Angry Birds Star Wars set. Um, it looks like Darth Vader, but it has a, a pig thing. It's, it's made out of rubber. What was that? Anyway, um, there's really nothing else to talk about. Uh, you'd put, this little hole right here is where you'd put the Angry Birds slingshot and you'd shoot it in the air. I used to have a lot of these when I was little. I don't know where all of them went. Something I want to point out, I also have these two right here that I used for the party. I literally just found them and I decided to use them for the whole party thing. So here is a General Grievous pig. Yeah, had a rubber, as usual. Um, there's really nothing too special about it, except in the eye holes, or the, not the eye holes, the pig holes. There's like, uh, like f fabric almost. But it's, it's still rubber, but it has that weird textury feel. Um, also, with this pig, it's just the emperor, but it's a pig. Um, I like the texture of where it's just like lying down on the pig's nose. It's like his eyes don't even exist. Like, it's really weird. Also, something that's kind of cool. I like how they kind of uh, they don't just have it be some sort of like clear cut out of it or something like that. I don't even know where I'm going with this. Next off, we have this random uh, black guy. Couldn't find the legs. I literally just found it when I was looking for all of my old Cars toys. I literally put them back up over here. I had them since I was like five. But I found it in there. I can't find any legs anywhere, so I literally just put it like it has some sort of robotic thing right there. Um... Really nothing else to talk about. He's completely bald. I think he was an Imperial uh, commander or something like that. Or just, yeah, some sort of commander. Next off, Music Man. Um, nothing else really special about him. He was originally a Batman character that won the Silver Batman from the green... from the, This and this guy back there was from a uh, Green Lantern. Um thing um but he has green lantern feet down there he also and then the batman thing he i couldn't find a head anywhere but now i have a head but i just didn't want to really change his appearance also this is just a random box i just used it as some sort of really stupid instrument something i regret but i was just too lazy to redo an emperor monkey part Three, I think. Uh, I kept playing the same exact tune, which was Java's Sail Barge um, Galactic Blast tune. I actually did reuse it again in the Sail Barge episode, but I did a different part of it. That just I didn't ever show before, but I actually regret putting it in so much. I was really overdoing it with that song. I just really liked it at the time. Um... Now we have Purple Face. Um, I don't remember what I originally used it for. He has Geonosian legs down here. Um, and then another a Green Lantern villain uh, head 
Or not head. Uh, I don't remember what character that was that had the purple face or anything like that. I'm not really a Green, Green Lantern fan. I just ended up having the set. Um, but this is like the villain of it, basically. The whole face piece or whatever. Um, also, one more thing. This last character is actually more Star Wars related. This is actually a Geonosian clone trooper that I had when I was younger. I'm really confused on how I was able to keep all of these pieces... All of these pieces together, because, uh... Um... It's really... It's nothing else to talk about him. He, I'm, he did have a... A uh, helmet, but I never could find it anywhere. So yeah, there we go. Now finally we have the turtle. Um, there, this turtle, I don't remember where I got him from, but I just found him randomly. I decided to use him as like a rancor type thing. He fit in there perfectly. Um, and I was just like, okay, we'll use it. Also, I purposely made him retarded too because just look at that face. Um, he's uh, rubbery, he's hollow, there's also a hole down there, so if you want to put him in water, and then you could like squeeze it, and then the water would come out of his mouth, I think that was the gimmick with this. A few more things that I ended up using, this, um, starfighter that I found in my closet, um, really nothing to talk about, I literally just added it in because there's some way that the one... Uh, Bounty Hunter was going to get away with, or something like that, I don't know, I literally just added it in at the last second. Also, same with this thing, I added it in at the last second, but I just liked it so much. Um, this is actually just a soldier. Um, his arm, as you can see, his arm was definitely burnt from down there, and the burn just went up until it finally stopped. So that's why, that's how that effect kind of came to be. Um, you can see another nice effect right here is that his shoulder blades kind of burnt into his spine. Um, another thing that we did, just to make it look a bit more real, we made his head really, like, me and my buddy, we made his head really floppy. So, like, there was a huge dent in his head, too. And also, this part of his rib cage was completely burned off. Okay, now let's actually get to the actual, like, set itself. And then we have the characters over there. Um, really nothing too special about it. I ended up putting these up also as, like, a stabilizer, but also because it really helps Sarlacc fit on there. Because, I don't know, it just does. Added this for no reason because I needed something right there. This was almost, like, down here. This was, I was going to put steps, but I just didn't have enough Lego pieces because they all got thrown away, and this was literally what was left. Um, I don't know why, but, um, um, back here, there's really nothing else. Um, I used this really dumb Fisher-Price thing. Uh, my friend kept bugging me. He was like, why didn't you just use that as an instrument? And I was like, why not, but I already have this thing. And so I was like, okay. Um, the original one, it just had this top part that was just lying down right there, and it wasn't as detailed. But I made an actual door right here. I was originally going to use this door as, like, the whole, like, Rancor gate, but it just ended up not getting used at all. I couldn't really fit them. Can't really use anything else, really. But, um, this, I literally just found this tie pods. Um, thing right here, I decided to use it as, like, the outside part of the castle. I even made it a bit more realistic where I had the, um, door just like this. Like that. So it was hanging out a bit. Also, Chugs. I got this for Christmas. It's a wrestler. But I don't know what wrestler. I think my parents just, I like Kiss a lot, the band. So I think they thought this was like Kiss or something like that. So they just gave it to me because they thought it was Kiss, even though it's not. Um, so yeah, I just used it as Chugs. The, because he looks like a bodyguard or something like that. So I just used it. Also, I literally just added in that he was originally retarded because I just... 
Uh, I just kept making that retarded noise and I didn't know what character to use it for. Also, this character. This is originally a Nightmare Before Christmas character. Uh, can't come out of there, but I just used it because I didn't have anything else. I was over I should have just used a particle droid, but I was being an idiot and I didn't want to move any of that crap over there. So that's what we got. Also, in here is the Rancor Pit. I wanted to get a really good view, but if I zoom in like this, the quality just gets really bad. To be honest, I really should have done that. Um, but I did also add a few things, like this is like a bone. That's a bone as well. Also, another gimmick that I am very proud of was this trap door. I really don't want to take it apart, but I originally was looking for something that had multiple sides, a Lego piece that had multiple sides, and I found this piece, and so I just used that. I put it on there, because originally this wasn't there, and neither was that, so it was just like this, but I just it kind of made it feel full circle when I just did that, and it worked really well. When I was first using it, it really just did not work. Um, and it kept falling apart. And so I literally just went like that when I put this pig in there for the first episode. Um, nothing else to really review. So, um, uh, whenever I do another review, I'm going to review this. Oh, it fell apart, but... And also the Jar Star. I will review that later in another video. See ya!